this. You're gonna hear his story in a moment. I'm going to introduce what you get, but I want you to keep in mind if you are looking for that cold brew coffee, and maybe this morning you woke up, you went to your favorite coffee house, and how much did you spend for that cold brew coffee? How long did you wait in line? Did you run late to work because you just needed that caffeine fix? Well, you don't have to do all that anymore because we now have an ingenious way to have cold brew coffee at home. It is the first time ever that we have a complete cold brew kit offered here at HSN. This is the brand new launch today. It's $29.95. Now you're going to get the pour and store pouch, which is completely reusable. It's going to make 36 cups. So down here, you're seeing 36 cups of your cold brew coffee. Now guess what? You don't need to plug anything in. It's simple. It's easy. You just pour in cold water, wait 12 hours. For the next, what, I think th uh, two weeks in the fridge, you have wonderfully tasting, low acidic, flavorful, cold brew coffee. It is so spectacular. Let me bring in our very special guest. Uh, Grady Laird is joining us. He is the president. He is the co-founder who is bringing us our cold brew first time ever coffee kit that we get to do at home. Grady, it's so nice to have you here. A lot of us, we love our cold brew. And now we can do it at home. Absolutely, it's a pleasure to be here. Yeah. I think this is the easiest way to fare from to make cold brew coffee at home or at the office. Wherever, anytime, anywhere, this is the easiest way to do it. Okay, so I have to ask you, for some of us who may be new to cold brew, what is cold brew? So cold brew is just a different method of making iced coffee instead of the old way where you heated up a pot of coffee and kind of rapidly cooled it down. Instead, with cold brew, it's a much gentler process, so you're essentially just steeping the beans for an extended period of time, anywhere between 12 and 24 hours. Now, when we do that, you have lower acidity, right? Mm -hmm. You don't have that bite in the coffee. It's much smoother when you do the cold brew coffee, right? Right, much smoother, no bitter bite, and then it stays fresh for much longer. So the old that. way of making iced coffee, maybe it was 24 hours it would stay fresh. Yeah. This is two weeks in the refrigerator. All right, let's show them how it works and talk about how you created this. Sure, so I was uh, working at a, a men's magazine at the time, and there was an article that came across my desk uh, that basically taught me how to cold brew using a French press. I was just blown away by the flavor, uh, the lack of bitterness, and really tried to get everyone to, uh, to make their coffee at home. But right. wasn't that easy. People didn't know what to brew it in. People didn't have the right equipment. And so this really takes all of those problems out of the equation, makes it super simple. Everything is combined in this cold brew kit. So one bag and you're done. It's simple, easy, efficient, nothing to plug in. I think even if you're someone who is like has an RV, you camp and you want coffee, I mean, imagine you could do this on the go. It's so simple. All right, so we just open the bag. We so, start yeah, there. You open the bag. You have three individually wrapped bundles of bean bags for a total of 12 bean bags total. Uh, you see it what you get here. smells great. Uh, this is all 12 of the bean bags that you get. Okay, so wait, let me just say so they get a shot. Mm -hmm. So you get all 12, and that's going to be, each time is going to be three times because you're going to use four at a time, right? Right, that's correct. Okay, and then that's going to make 36 servings total. Mm -hmm. And then where do we go from there? Okay, so to make a batch, you just open up one of the bundles. You drop all four of the bean bags into the pouch. All right. And let's talk about the coffee that you use because this is 100% Arabica coffee? Yeah, Am that's uh, it right? coffee beans from Indonesia and Ethiopia, okay. chicory imported from France. Uh, and then a couple secret spices that makes a signature to Grady's flavor. Right, because you call this like New Orleans style, yeah, right? Yeah, it is and New Orleans really style. What really makes it New Orleans style? That's, that's the chicory, which that's has kind of been used as a coffee substitute for centuries, and that wow. gives it just a little touch of sweetness without adding any sugar at all. Right, so if you're someone who is maybe diabetic, you are thinking, you know what, I can't have sugar. There is no sugar in this whatsoever. There's no artificial sweeteners at all. Now, of course, if you want to add sugar, you can, right, Grady? Right, yeah, we don't judge if you want to add <laughs> sugar if you want to do anything you can, you can we just ask that you try it first With taste no it sugar. a lot of people find that they would normally add and they don't now okay so now we put the four bags in now what do we do next so next you just want to grab a pitcher of water it's a half gallon or eight cups and you just pour it directly in the bag okay. you can use filtered water you can use bottled water or just tap water there's actually uh, a fill line on the back too if you don't want to measure and you just pour the water directly into the cold brew kit. Could not be no, easier. So does it matter? I mean, like what temperature does the water have to be? Does it have to be a special temperature? Sure, it can be uh, room temperature water, cold water. Uh, it's not that. It doesn't important. have to be hot water. No, it does not have want, you don't hot. want it to be hot water. Oh, you don't, uh -huh. okay. 
So room temperature or cold water. So and once it's in the bag, you just seal it up. And then you just want to give it some gentle agitation. Uh, mm -hmm. Make sure that all the bags are saturated uh, with water and oh, are so fully brewed. Submerged. Absolutely. So they're all submerged. And then you're just going to put this in your fridge. It's going to brew overnight or it brews while you snooze or steeps while you sleep, we say. Steeps and then while you sleep. Steeps while you sleep. And then I when like you wake that. up, you're going to have two weeks worth of fresh iced coffee ready to pour from your fridge. Okay, you know my next question. I want to try it. Absolutely. And I have not tried it yet. So because this is a brand new launch here at HS and I want to save it for when I was on air. Um, shall we have a cup? Yeah, absolutely. All right, let's do uh, it. So I think it's really important to and ask. you even get a pour spout. Yes, it does have a spigot on it. And so to make a cup, you put four ounces of the cold brew coffee concentrate in. Okay. And then depending on what you mix it with, if you drink your coffee black, you mix it with water. If you drink it with milk, and there are you know, hundreds of different types of milk from goat milk to oat milk these days. Right. And uh, so how do you take Almond it? Almond milk, if you Almond do. Almond milk, absolutely. Um, I'll just take, just milk is fine. Okay, so <laughs> yeah, you do equal <laughs> parts good. coffee concentrate okay. to milk. And then give it a quick stir. And I've been trying to give up sugar, interestingly enough. So I'm going to try it with no sugar. All right. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Mm. Oh, that's incredible. Right, you can really taste the sweetness that's enhanced what, the, with the there milk. There is no bite to it. Right. There's not that high acidity. Like, it's so smooth. Super smooth. Super smooth, but it's strong at the same time. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's. I mean, you get a really robust flavor of the coffee. Yeah, it is It is a concentrate, and that's one of the beauties of this product, is you really can't mess a concentrate up. Mm -hmm. If it's too strong, you can dilute it further. If it's not strong enough, you can always add more uh, concentrate. Right. So you can really kind of zero in on your ideal strength and your perfect cup I'm of so coffee. I'm getting this. Honestly, that was so easy. so easy. You know, have you seen those whole contraptions that you have to put it through? Sure. And they're hundreds of dollars, and you're like, oh my gosh, you know, do I really, I love cold brew, but do I really want another appliance in my kitchen? Do I want something else to take up valuable counter space? No. This, you don't. I mean, it's simply a bag. Now, Grady, you said to me, if you wanted to, I mean, obviously we give you the bag so you can make the, your cold brew coffee in it, but you said you could put it in a pitcher and let it steep in there and put it in the refrigerator. So if you want to do that, but this is your pour and store pouch. So this is simple, it is easy, and the end results are honestly, quite frankly, spectacular because the cold brew tastes incredible. And how much are you paying at that coffee shop? This you can now do in your own home. You get 36, what are the ounces for the glass? I know you get 36. Sure, so it's a, you fill up a cup with oh. ice and it's four ounces oh, four of coffee ounces. concentrate, okay. four ounces of milk or water that you awesome. add to it. All right, and then let's talk cleanup. Like, sure. so are the bags reusable then? Because obviously we get 30, uh, the pouches mm -hmm. coming in 12 pouches, which is three time use. Sure. So how do I clean it so, up then? So the next morning, um, you just want to remove the, the bean bags. You okay. can use a slotted spoon, you can use tongs. I think the easiest way is just to use your hands. You do want to be gentle with them. They have been soaking overnight, and so you don't want any of the bags to drip. You can give them kind of a gentle squeeze and just get all that good coffee concentrate out. Mm -hmm. And then you're just going to throw these away. You can compost them. I was just going to say compost them. You can them, sprinkle the grounds in your garden. Uh, you have any it's of like those fertilizer options. fertilizer for your garden. You'll Absolutely. be amazed. Definitely do that. Um, all right, so we just take those out. Take those out, and then once you're done with the batch, one batch actually makes you uh, 12 cups of iced coffee, so quite a few servings. And then you can rinse with the mild soap and warm water, and then you can reuse it again another two times Jeez. for another... 12 batch cup. Right, because remember, back here, these are the pouches that you're going to get. You're going to get 12 pouches. Four goes in each of each time you use it. Now, if someone says, I don't like it that strong, mm -hmm. would you do, like, you would you would always use the four pouches, or could you use one less pouch? No, you can absolutely use less pouches. We also make this in, we make it in regular and decaf. Some people do half-calf, so a right. uh, couple bags of regular strength, Sweet. and then a couple uh, bags of the decaf okay. for a little bit less strength. So you could, mm -hmm. awesome. So you can customize this. You can also just put a single bean bag in your to-go travel mug and brew it just in the actual cup you're gonna consume okay. it at. What if I wanted to, could I do that with hot water? Like if I wanted it hot? Yeah, yeah no, this is super versatile. It can make hot coffee really well. Uh, so you can use just a normal drip oh, coffee look at maker. This. Okay. And, now you're, uh, you're sneaky, Grady, because you didn't tell me that in our meeting. <laughs> yes, no, it can we do it all. We just talked about cold brew. Absolutely. So it makes a really great, intense cup of hot coffee. Again, with that chicory, just gives it a really nice, little subtle sweetness, but it's absolutely delicious. I mean, think about waking up to the flavor and the aroma of this wonderful New Orleans style 
blend and it's spectacular. You can do it hot, even if you want to do like a milkshake style. You even did some frozen. Yeah, these are coffee and cream ice cubes. So what Gosh, they, when they, uh, they don't dilute the uh, the cold brew once they do melt. So oh, I'm so doing this. You have inspired me. What is this here? Uh, this is an orange cocktail. So it has rum, the cold brew, a uh, couple, a little <laughs> blood orange. Style. Yes, yes, Come no, it makes a great okay. cocktail. Here's the great thing is this is on auto ship. So if you're like me, I am trying this day. I'm going to get my order in because I love coffee. I feel like I can't start my day without it. I feel like I am just lackluster. I need that little bit of caffeine. This is so simple and so easy. Skip that line at the coffee house. You get it at home. We have auto ship. You can secure this fall price. It's on sale for $5 off, $29.95, four flexible payments of $7.49. And then that's going to to get it to you every 30 days. Now you can speed it up, you can slow it down on auto ship, but you'll always have this low price that we have for the brand new launch. Grady, nice job for your Thank first time. You. Welcome to HSN. I appreciate being and here. And may I take my coffee with Absolutely. me? Absolutely. All right, because we've got some wicked good cupcakes coming up next you don't want to miss out on. Thank you, Grady. Thank really you. wonderful job. Okay, we have our four flex pays or more on the coffee shop. So if you need that little caffeine fix and you want to check out whether it's a cold brew, whether it's a new coffee pot, maybe it's the Keurig. We have a variety of options, even for espresso. We have um, some great espresso machines there as well. You can check it all out on hsn.com and everything is on four flex pays or more. Now we also have our HSN credit card. Now this is a great way to shop here at HSN because there's lots of perks to having the HSN credit card. Not only once you apply upon approval, we'll take $10 off your very first purchase. So if you're picking up the cold brew, first ever kit to do at home, you could take that from $29.95 to $19.95. Now talk about that's a sweet deal. Or maybe, speaking of a sweet deal, how about our wicked...